सर्किट रीडिंग सर्किट इन न्यूट्रल न्यूट्रल सर्किट इन दिस सर्किट द फ्लो ऑफ ऑयल फ्रॉम द पंप इज डाइवर्टेड बैक टू द रिजर्वायर थ्रू कंट्रोल वॉल्व दिस इज डन ड्यू टू नॉन रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ ऑयल इन द सर्किट इन दिस सर्किट द ऑयल स्टार्ट टू फ्लो फ्रॉम पंप टू कंट्रोल वॉल्व विथ नेग्लिजिबल प्रेशर Further, it enters in the control valve, where it travels towards main relief valve bore, where the oil keeps travelling till it reaches the pressure relief valve, as the operating pressure for the main relief valve is about 192 to 197 bar. The present oil pressure will not open it. Hence, from there, the oil flows towards regulating valve bore. the oil flowing towards regulating valve comes in contact with regulating valve ball which opens only in one direction thus the oil finds another path towards orifice filter the oil keeps flowing through orifice at a constant rate to a passage provided in between regulating piston and regulating plug till up to the main spool port number 1 where the oil gets stopped thus oil finds another path through orifice filter further it divided into two paths one is towards compensator valve bore and for another path oil enters in port number 2 of main spool and further the oil reaches to nrv through port number 3 of main spool as the opening pressure of nrv is 90 psi this oil will not open nrv hence flow towards compensator valve through orifice screw due to continuous flow from the pump oil starts building the pressure due to restrictions since the contact area above regulating piston is more than of regulating ball and regulating seat the force above regulating piston will be more this will move the regulating piston in downward direction and thus the regulating ball is pushed down causing the leakage in the oil path the pressure behind the regulating piston is maintained uniformly due to distribution of oil from orifice filter and remaining quantity of oil is carried away from regulating valve ball seat This is nothing but the neutral circuit as it does not create any motion in the main piston and thus in the implement. This brings us to the end of neutral circuit.